Hey everyone, so today I will be talking about p-value and what does it represent in statistics. Statistics is everywhere. If you see this touchpad carefully, what you see is a normal bell-shaped curve. Let's say p-value in this region is 0.01. This means I touch over here 1 in 100 times. Let's say the p-value in this region is 0.8. This means 80 out of 100 times I'm gonna touch in this region. Now if we see the statistical definition of p-value, then p-value is the probability value for the null hypothesis to be true. To understand p-value, first we should try to understand null hypothesis. The null hypothesis is the hypothesis which treats everything same, everything equal. Let's take an example where plants are treated with fertilizer A and fertilizer B. The null hypothesis here will be there is no difference in the effect of fertilizer A and fertilizer B. Now there are many statistical tests, say for example t-test, f-test, ANOVA, etc. And the final result of each test is judged on the basis of the p-value obtained. The p-value can take any values from 0 to 1. Let's say p-value is 0.1. This means if I repeat an experiment 100 times, 10 out of 100 times the null hypothesis will be true. Let's say p-value is 0.3. This means if I repeat the experiment 100 times, 30 out of 100 times the null hypothesis is going to be true. Let's say p-value is 0.05. This means if I repeat the experiment 100 times, only 5 times the null hypothesis is gonna be true. Okay, let's take an example of t-test. The t-test is used for the comparison of mean. Let's consider the previous experiment where the plants were given fertilizer A and fertilizer B. Let's say a graph represents the mean and the standard deviation in the height of the plant. Now the t-test is going to compare the two means. Let's say the p-value for this test is 0.03. This means if I repeat this experiment 100 times, only 3 out of 100, the null hypothesis is going to be true. Now the next question that arises over here is should we consider this significant or not? Taking a decision based on p-value is completely in the hands of the experimenter or the scientist who is doing the experiment. The researcher decides the level of significance for his experiment. Let's say the level of significance decided by the researcher was 0.05. Then in this case, the researcher have to reject the null hypothesis. And conclude that there is a significant difference between fertilizer A and fertilizer B. Now let's say the level of significance decided by the researcher was 0.01. Then in this case, the researcher have to accept the null hypothesis and conclude that there is no significant difference between fertilizer A and fertilizer B. So to summarize, the researcher first decides the level of significance, then he does the experiment and finds the p-value.
if the p-value is more than level of significance, then the null hypothesis is accepted. And if the p-value is less than level of significance, then the null hypothesis is rejected.